hello guys welcome back to the video player app series and this is part second and here in this part we will first create a layout new layout resource file for our video item that we will show for each of the video files so first i'm going to check just card view is dependency is present so yes we have added material design dependency and now i'm going to create a new layout resource file and giving it a name video item and also its root element will be relative layout press ok and in this part we will also take runtime permission so before that i'm going to give this relative layout an id let's say video item and here we will create layout inside card view width of let's say 112 dp and height of 62 dp and then we will also give an id to it let's say id equals img underscore thumbnail and uh, now just close this and inside this card view we have to add an image view for our cover art so image view match parent and match parent width and height both src will be let's say launcher icon i see launcher and you can see now the image view and also we have to give a scale type that is center crop to crop this to center and also we will give an id to it so id let's say thumbnail and now we can close this and now we have to add a text view for a duration of the video file so height and width of wrap content and id let's say duration video duration and we have to adjust this in the right bottom corner of this image view so giving it a dummy text background let's say has 111 and then we will give a padding and before that text color of white and padding let's say some of the dps and now we will give a text size of 12 sp and uh, let's align this to bottom right corner so for that we have to give a gravity for this layout gravity and it will be bottom and end pipe symbol and end you can see this is now perfect and also we can add margin end and margin bottom of some dps to align it so margin bottom and now this is looking good now and now we have to add it file name so for that we have to go outside of this card view and here we will create a text view wrap content wrap content height and width and also we will give an id to it video file name and now text let's say dummy text file name and uh, this will be aligned to end of img thumbnail that we have given the id to the card view layout img thumbnail and this is aligned at the end of the card view and now we will make it center vertical to the parent layout so center vertical true but this is going in the center of our screen this is because of the relative layout root 
text color let's say first key has 0 0 0 for black and just go to the root layout and here we have to change this height to wrap content and now this is center vertical to the relative layout let's add some margin start let's spun 15 dp and now we have to add an image view for our more menu to delete or show the details of file so copy this image view and here we have to paste it and just change this id menu more width and height of let's say 60 dps and this will be aligned at the end of the parent so parent end to true you can see this now and now we have to add a drawable vector asset for menu more so search more here you will see this vertical more rename it and press next and finish now here we have to change this src to drawable i see menu more that is vertical and also will give some padding and remove this scale type padding let's say some of the dps not looking good also increase padding now this is looking good and the last thing that we have to do is add some corner radius to this card view corner radius add 5 dp let's say and now the corner of this image view is circular also add some margins in our relative layout margin let's say 10 dp and everything is done for this video item so now we can close this so the next thing that we have to do in our app is to take runtime permission from the user and for that i'm going to main activity and here we will create a method that is called permission method and uh, press alt enter enter to create this method in our main activity and here we will first check if context compat dot check self permission and the permission is about uh, first parts context and permission is manifest dot permission dot write external storage and uh, if it is not equal to package manager dot permission granted then we will pop up again the permission window for this so here we will request again the permission activity compare dot request permission request permission and here we have to again pass activity main activity dot this and uh, permission new strings curly braces and manifest dot permission dot write external storage write external storage and after the curly braces end we have to pass a request code that is of integer type so just giving a request code for permission and we will create it by pressing alt enter enter and this is created at the top you can give any of the integer value to it and this error is resolved and in else block that is the permission is already granted so we will show the toast or we will work on the external storage so i am going to show only the toast in this video and then after this permission method we have to override on request permission result and this after super statement we have to check again if request code equal to equal to request code permission and uh, if grant results at index 0 
is equal to equal to package manager dot permission granted that means permission is granted by the user for write external storage so here we will work on external storage i am going to show only the toast here in the next part we will work on the external storage if the user denies the permission then we will go to the else block and here we will again request the permission so just copy this code and paste it in the else block and we have done everything that is required for runtime permission in our main activity but the most important thing that we have to do is we have to add the permission in manifest android manifest so here we are going to add just usage permission write external storage and now let's run the app and see if we can take the runtime permission from the user so now the app is installed and this is launching now and you can see this is the dialog that is popped up so let's deny again this is popped up again deny so let's allow you can see this toast now we have granted the permission and also we will add some fragments to use in our app so go to our package and here right click on it and we have to create new fragment blank fragment let's name it as folder fragment and press finish and after this finishing we have to remove these codes because we don't require this so remove this first uh, comment and also remove these codes before the constructor and leave this constructor and then also remove this and also this on create method but leave this on create view method so we have left these codes and we will do the same thing in our new fragment that we will create for file fragment giving this text to folder fragment again we will create a fragment blank fragment for files fragment so name it as files fragment and finish and we will do the same thing here to remove this and also this remove and remove this and also this on create method so that's it for the tutorial thank you for watching in the next part we will work on our external storage to get the video files